video. And today we have a treat. We're going to meet Mindy, a new friend of mine, and learn all about her and her life in the Kia Soul. So here we are at the back of your Kia Soul. Mm -hmm. And Mindy, go ahead and tell us how you live in it. Okay. Well, this is my bed. I chose the passenger side to sleep on because I always get in the back from the front. Um, it helps keep dirt down and it's a small space. So I keep my shoes in the driver's side and then I can just easily go from the front to this side to sleep. And I sleep with my head that way. So if I ever want to have this open, I can look out and I can look out the window if I want to. Um, this is my bucket. I didn't have to use this um, at all when I lived in the city. There's bathrooms everywhere. So I only got this when I was going to be coming out here um, for bathroom emergencies. So, uh, and you probably have a, uh, uh, where you're rigged for driving, everything's inside. Mm -hmm. And then when you set up camp, a whole bunch of stuff comes out. Not too much. Not I too have much? the bucket comes out, um, a little table and camp chair. It's pretty much all that comes out. So it, uh, not a lot of going back and forth. Nope. And you can sleep comfortably with everything inside. Oh yes, with everything inside. Yep. Yeah, that's important because mm -hmm. otherwise, if you're when you're traveling distance, it gets uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and show us the things you've got and how okay. you've organized them. Um, up here I have like um, just some spices and tea and I have my uh, dish soap and some hydrogen peroxide in that one. Um, so it's just like uh, kitchen things in there. And then in here is like some baggies and paper plates and things of that nature. I don't have to get into these two drawers. Um, I don't have to access them every day. So it's kind of nice. I have the stuff, but I don't have to get at it, you know, quickly so I can have other things here. And these, this is my day bag that I would use every morning. Um, and this is my gym bag. So if I'm going to be transitioning and work camping, I probably won't need these. So I'll downsize and get rid of this stuff. So that'll free up some space as well. But Right now, I'm in limbo of what I'm going to be doing for work, so I didn't want to do it yet. Um, back here, I have this windscreen I created for my little stove I have, and it works really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it just tucks up here out of the way. And so uh, you would bring out the stove and you'd, you'd cook outside. Yeah, that's why I have that little, that little table, um, and it just fits right on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So most of us, you know, have a, a camp chair at the table and you're spending, you're living out of the car as out much of the as car. in yep. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, it, well, that's a very, very good idea. This is my closet laundry area. Just uh, organization. Yep. And actually it's, I downsized this once I left my job. Um, because I was still losing weight anyway, and the clothes were like so loose that I ended up donating most of my work clothes that I had used for this job I just had. Um, so this is like socks and things like that. And this is uh, t-shirts and tank tops. And these are like my yoga pants. And then I have a couple pair of jeans that I roll up and just tuck in here with some hoodies as well. And then I have all my sports bras hang up. I have a jacket that tucks here. They even have enough room for some cool leftover coolant. Yeah. Yeah. So, so here's your uh, bedroom, and <laughs> yep. in the back, in that the plastic drawers in the back was the kitchen, and yep. all the functions of a house yep. in plastic drawers. Yeah. And that's the little table that I pull out to use, and my mm -hmm. camp chair is back there. I actually have two camp chairs, a tripod, a yoga mat. <laughs> And then this is my backpack, and then my laundry bag is right under there. Right. Mm -hmm. And looks like you've got some uh, mosquito netting, and uh, is that Reflectix or cardboard on the window? It's Reflectix, and I tucked it inside black pillowcases. Oh, what a clever idea. Yeah. I actually want to do that for the front ones. The front ones are still, they're right here. These ones are still bare because I would barely use them. They go in the side front windows. And then I have the, you know, Reflectix window shade. So I'm completely blacked out. The side, you can see my bed. 
Mm -hmm. And, and stuff more. underneath, I'm yep. sure. And there's stuff underneath. And I actually have uh, three totes in there. Um, the one on the bottom is some paperwork. Actually, the one on the bottom has extra books. It's a library. The one in the middle has um, some paperwork. And then the top one is like my toolbox. It has extra extension cords and hammer and things like that in there. So plastic drawers basically are all you needed to yeah. organize. Yeah, I, um, I don't think I spent even $200 on things for the car. And that includes little um, portable rechargeable battery packs that I have. Mm -hmm. Everything total that I've bought for the car is probably only equals $200. So you already had the car, good running, reliable car, yeah. and uh, added a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff, and yeah. you got a home. Yeah. You own outright. Well, not quite yet, but soon. Soon, yeah. Especially keep living this way soon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so here's my kitchen. Um, there's the top seat for my bucket when I pull it out. Mm -hmm. I just tuck it right there, and then I have my baby wipes trash bags and roll of toilet paper. So I've actually created like a little mm -hmm. bathroom here mm -hmm. using the two doors. Right. And then this holds um, extra food. This holds like immediately access food. Yes. Um, and then down there I have canned goods, three gallons of water, propane. Uh, my stove tucks underneath my seat there. Got it all. Mm -hmm. This your just your kitchen and bathroom kind of rolled into one. And I, I love my setup because I can access everything from the driver's seat. Like I'm driving, I need a tissue, I'm hungry, I grab something. I have like my vitamins that I take, you know, eye drops, hand sanitizer, everything. And I use this um, lightweight kitty litter for my emergency bucket. Right. It works good. Yeah. It's the lightweight kind. Well, and that's a big plus to having a car. You can run to a bathroom and use a real bathroom exactly. somewhere without, you know, being yeah. a big deal. Without, yep. Yeah. And uh, here in Quartzsite, there's a lot of showers too. Yeah. So uh, how are you showering and then staying clean in our car? Um, using the gym or like Love's or like you said, there's other places that have showers right. here as well that you wouldn't usually find right. other places. So mainly Love's and Planet Fitness. Mm -hmm. I have a Planet Fitness membership, and those showers are amazing. They're bigger than the shower that I used to have in my apartment. <laughs> right. Yeah. Actually, uh, if you're a, if there's a couple, you can both shower, and they're really comfortable. <laughs> so you actually save a little money that way. Yeah. Yeah. They're so big and nice. Yeah. In cooking, I mainly just eat um, soup and oatmeal and things like that because I don't eat um, animal products. I'm completely plant plant based. So. I don't need any refrigeration or anything like that. Uh, do you eat quite a bit of raw or, well, it's harder with uh, completely plant-based. Yeah, I eat um, mostly raw. I eat a lot of beans and soups and things mm -hmm. like that, especially now that it's cold. I like soup. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, you have a stove, so you can cook. Yeah. You do cook. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Great. So you've got, you've reproduced all the functions of a home in a Kia Soul. In a Kia Soul. Yeah. Yeah. And and you're not miserable. No, no, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And I know I, because I've been doing this a long time that I'm going to get a lot of comments that say, "Oh, that poor woman. Why doesn't someone help her? Are you a poor woman that needs help?" Oh goodness, no, no. And I know I feel I feel for them because my my dad feels that way. My aunt and uncle get it. They they understand. Like I said, they convert the cargo trailer, you know, so they kind of get why. But I guess my, my dad doesn't get why. He asked my aunt, I just don't get it. She can right. come stay with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. This, it's a mindset that um, a lot of people just can't get. Well, I think for some people, like I have a friend, you know, having to live in their car was a bad time. And then right. that's how they see it. And I think that's how my, my dad sees it too. Like only if you're on rough times would you live in your car. Right. You know? And it's amazing, when I was at the beach, um, I actually spoke to an officer. He pulled up and I said, hey, good morning. And he like kind of tucked down into this window right here and he's like, are you living in your car? And I was like, yes. And he goes, he goes, 
you don't seem like the type. <laughs> you don't seem like the type. <laughs> and then he's like, and, and you know, the more he talked to me, he goes, and I've never seen the curtain. He goes, is anyone back there? I'm like, no, I was like, it can only fit one person. He's like, you know, but he was, it, it was funny. He was like shocked. Like, you don't seem like the type of person. So I, I understand how other people would, you know, think the same thing. Like, you know, you must be struggling or things must be bad for you to live in your car. Right. Yeah. And they definitely are not for you. Are not, no. Um, one of the one of the things I like to say is these can and should be the best times of your life. Mm -hmm. Is that at all true for you? Yes, best time. Yeah. 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 But like we said in the interview, this is a time of self-exploration. And I don't think anything does it better than living as a nomad in a, in a vehicle. Definitely. If you're open. If, mm -hmm. and, and life circumstances made you open. It's fun. It's like camping. It's like being a kid again and you're just having fun. Right. It's play. Yeah. Life is play again. It's play. Yeah. What can I go see and do? Yeah. And, and uh, Every day it's something new. Every day there's something new to see. Even the same place doesn't look the same the next day. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Very good. Really, really good. So folks, make this, uh, make this play. You know, this is you're just becoming children again and going out and having a grand adventure in a car. Except this time it's a real car and not a toy car. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that's really good. Thank you. Uh, your, your, your story is very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. It's so great to meet you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, folks. So I think, uh, I think we've got some great ideas here from Mindy. Again, be sure and go back and watch her interview. I think, I think you're going to, to uh, be inspired by it. Please do. And uh, great ideas here. If you, so, uh, Mindy, what is your advice? Someone out there is listening, they're a little afraid, they're scared, they want to, but they're not sure. Do you have any advice for them? Just begin, just start. It doesn't take much at all. Use what you have and, and make it work. Sometimes we have, you know, we get trapped in, oh, I have to have this first, this has to be like this first. It, it doesn't. And it, it'll all line up. It'll all just come together once you start. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's, that's been my experience for myself and for uh, thousands of people I've talked to, just like you and me. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much, Mindy. I really appreciate your time and, and sharing your, your home with us. Thank you, Bob. So, folks, I know you got something good out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.